What's up, Scrappy Peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill, and it's time for one of your favorite videos, Instagram 5. Whenever I asked what uh, type of videos you would like to see on either of my channels, Grab 5 is always the resounding favorite. So during the Inky June Marathon, I have included several, I think there's, there's maybe about six or eight Grab 5s this month. Uh, and I'm trying a art journal grab five in a little while too. So that will be something a bit different. But today I am scrapping. Now, don't get excited. This isn't a new pregnancy ultrasound. This is Violet. I'm not pregnant. That's not happening anytime soon. Uh, yes, it's, it's not a pregnancy announcement. It is just little Violet catching up on 2019. I am using... Oh, lots of things that went fast, very fast, and I have forgotten what I was using. I had been saving it up, uh, this 12 by 12 paper pad, for when I was scrapbooking Violet photos. So it's the first time I'm using it. So today I went back and had a look because I was too busy uh, gas bagging and having a chat. But I'm using the Magical Forest 12 by 12 paper pad by Crate Paper. I've got some Pink Fresh stickers from their Noteworthy collection, which is one of their newest collections. I've got some Citrus Twist puffy stickers that may have come in one of their Life Crafted monthly kits, or you can just buy some of their embellishments separately uh, in their online store. I've got some older Amy Tan chipboard, which I've had a bit of trouble using because it's just black and white, and I always... Um, leave it to the side and go for the more colourful things in my stash. So I wanted to try and pull that out. Uh, and then the last thing is a roller stamp because I feel like I've uh, neglected my roller stamps. I go through big influxes of feeling excited to use roller stamps and then forgetting about them for a little while. So I'm trying to bring them back out of hibernation uh, for a little bit. And if you are tuning into my videos new, uh, if you are new tuning into my videos, there we go fix that sentence up. Uh, I have been doing Grab 5 videos. It's something I made up um, several years, probably about four, five, no, before Arch, probably about five years ago now. And it's where you grab five things from your stash and you have to use them on a project. Uh, and it's a great way to kind of get some motivation to use older things or not necessarily older, but things that you don't, um, your first call that you reach for straight away. So I always like to pair something that's maybe more new and shiny and exciting, like those pink fresh stickers or that paper pad, uh, with something that is forgotten, like the roller stamp, or something that I sometimes struggle to use just because of the, the colour palette, like those uh, chipboard stickers. So the paper I chose was this number one, and I thought this was perfect because, of course, when you're talking ultrasounds, you're always thinking, you know, how many weeks along are you... Uh, and so I wanted to use this number paper and I also this number paper was a bit tricky for me because the numbers were so big uh, I wanted something to calm it down a little bit because I felt like the numbers were a little bit invasive in my face um, and I wanted you to still be able to tell that they were numbers but not have them so prominent on my background and so I grabbed some white gesso because I don't think I have white acrylic paint anymore uh, and I just used a stencil I don't know the brand of this stencil but if you go back uh, it's part of my Brisbane haul from a couple of years ago and I decided on white because it's a, a subtle color and I didn't want I wanted this page to be just very muted tones um, with a little pop of blue and pink because at this point we didn't know the gender. I think this was my 12 week or 13 week scan and it was at this appointment that I got uh, the blood test where you get checked for um, uh, difficulties in the fetus. Um, I'm trying to think of the right word for that. I don't know. The word has escaped me. Um, genetic abnormalities, that's the word. Uh, or it, and you can also tell the, the gender from there as well. And so we found that out, um, but I didn't know yet. So I didn't want to make it all pink and girly. And I know girls can like blue too. I'm very pro boys liking pink and girls liking blue as well. Um, but I've, I wanted to do a pink frilly page, um, but I didn't want to do that yet. So I matted my photo just on some white 
cardstock and I felt like I needed to do that because I, I do that all the time anyway. <laughs> and um, But also to just, you can just see by adding that white, it's really made it pop uh, a little bit more, which is good against that busy background. Because even though the background isn't super colorful and busy, it's still, it's it's busy enough. It's not a solid color. It needs something to, to help it a little bit. Grabbing some craft foam and I'm sticking that on uh, to make the photo pop up even more and I I really like the way this page came out it's not I, w I wouldn't say it's my typical color palette uh, just because of that that background paper is very it's a muted minty green uh, if that's a color it's like a muted sage green and as you guys know it's not my usual color palette um, oh, lots of people ask what double-sided tape I use. That's it there. I get this big pack from Spotlight. It's cheap, uh, which is why I use so much because if you are a new subscriber, <laughs> don't panic about my use of tape. Uh, I need to use this much just because of the climate that I live in, unfortunately. Things just fall off and I've tried using expensive tapes and only using a tiny bit and it's, it, it doesn't help. It does not help uh, but I one thing on this page of chipboard stickers that I think I struggle with the most are the words and I thought that it would be a good opportunity especially white words uh, because to obviously to use a, a paler colored uh, word sticker you need a darker background and a lot of the time my photos have do have lighter backgrounds and so I decided to jump on the opportunity to use that wonderful. And then I'm grabbing a couple of stickers going with some blue, some pink. I bumped that blue uh, photo up and I thought that was perfect. It says, I'm pretty sure it says snapshots, does it? Yes, it does. Uh, and I just thought that was perfect because it is, you know, it's a snapshot inside my tummy. <laughs> and I, I just thought it was a, a, good, um, a good one to use. I'm also trying to bring in a little bit of that greeny color from the background and I'm just popping a few of these stars and then combining it with some of these chipboard stars. So when you are picking items for a grab five, I've had a couple of people ask how I pick them uh, and if you'd like me to do a video more of a talking maybe face to face have a face-to-face -face part before the actual process video about picking the things and why I'm picking them. Uh, let me know if you'd be interested in that. But I, like I said, I usually start with something new that is exciting and that I'm busting to use. Uh, and for this, it was the paper pad. And I had been saving to use that um, for a violet photo. So I grabbed the first, <laughs> literally the first violet photo that, <laughs> that I could possibly scrapbook. And uh, that was my jumping off point. So I had one thing in my grab five and then a photo that I was going to use. And then I just went from there. I found the, the pink fresh photo uh, stickers were also on my desk. And then I decided to balance it out with something that was a bit older. So I found the chipboard. I try to pick different types of things. So I already had a flat uh, cardstock sticker. And so I picked the chipboard stickers and then I picked the puffy stickers. So although they're all stickers, they're different types of stickers. Uh, so that's something to, to keep in mind. But you can just literally pick random things from your stash. Um, I, I picked the chipboard quite early on and I thought that the... Uh, puffy stars would be a good way to work some of the stars from this chipboard sheet in and make them more of my style with the different colors uh, but you can just pick anything from your stash that you that you'd like to use I for a little while I had a box of items that I was oh actually I still do I should use that hmm I might pull that out next time I had a forgotten box of Grab5 supplies that I would just pop things in there that I thought would be good uh, for a Grab5 video and then I forgot about it a little bit and went on my own track of picking things from my normal stash. Um, but that's a great way if you want, um, 
even if you don't want to do grab five, you could pick grab 10 if you wanted to and put a little box of supplies on your desk and see how many pages or projects you could do um, from the same grab five items before you get too sick of them. <laughs> um, but I'm finishing up the page here with some roller stamping. Uh, and if you have tuned into this video without watching the first one, or if you're wondering why I'm posting a video midweek, it's because we're in the Inky June Marathon. So there's a video every single day in June uh, on my main channel, Inky Quill, and my second channel, Let's Get Inky. So tomorrow, tune in to Let's Get Inky. What have you got on tomorrow? Some art journaling on Let's Get Inky tomorrow. Uh, and then come back on here on Inky Quill on the next day. All right, peeps, if you're enjoying the Inky June Marathon, please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you tomorrow. I'll see you then. Very close by. All right, guys. Bye.